My name is Marie Louise Napier and I'm a musician and a sometime artist. I live in Grantown in Spain and I wanted to tell you a little bit about this project which I was forced into. Probably I think we'll blame my youngest son. I have three, but we'll blame Hamish anyway. Over the years I have been writing lullabies for friends and relations and grandchildren and during Covid Hamish was locked up here in, in our house at, down by the river in Grandtown and he was more aware I think that as babies arrived and funnily enough we did have quite a few babies during and just before Covid he was aware that I was writing lullabies he came to me one day at the beginning of May last year and he said, <laughs> why don't you record these? And I said, oh, nice idea, really. I I'll do that sometime. He said, how many have you got? And I said, I haven't a clue how many I've got, nor can I remember them all. But the next lunchtime, he came round to, to the house and he said, Right, Mum, that's it. I've booked you in to Ian McFarland's and Glenfinnan for the 22nd of May and you can record them. So for the next three weeks I worked very hard indeed um, finding them, collating them and uh, arranging them because I hadn't actually arranged a lot of them when I, when I composed them. And in fact, I had 15 lullabies. I thought I had 14 and I spoke to my young sister and she said, oh, but don't you remember you wrote the one for call? And in fact, this particular um, lullaby for call was what got me started on the lullabies. So my sister moved to Mull and a friend of hers there had a little baby boy and he was born extremely prematurely. He was utterly tiny and she phoned me up and she said I need a really special present for this. This baby is amazing. He's a sort of miracle. Uh, will you write me a lullaby? And that's just what I did. about six years later that our first granddaughter was born, Lucy Grace, and then I thought I'm going to write a lullaby for Lucy Grace, which is what I did. And not only that, I thought I really need to make it special, so I did a painting about the lullaby, on which and in which I incorporated the the words and the music of the song. And then that just set a trend. Hush up by Lucy Graves Here's a lullaby to soothe you Hush up by a little one Lula, Lula, Lula When I came to record the lullabies, I realized that I had the 15 and it would be quite nice to frame them with with old lullabies because my mother always sang us lullabies when we were children and a you know I, I I was brought up with lullabies and I can just remember how she used to sing them 
So I decided to incorporate them as well. And I started off with Good Night Little People, which was one that she sang when she was getting rather fed up with all of us. Well, there was four of us and it was time for us to go to bed. Well, good night, little people. Good night and good night. Good night, little people, good night and good night. Sweet dreams to your eyelids till morning is light. Shut up for the night is the pimpernel red. It's time, little people, we're going to bed. While I was um, there at the studio, my sister was uh, popped in to see us on her, her way back to Mull. And a uh, poor girl, I just sprang it upon her. I said, do you think that you could sing harmonies on our favorite, my mother's favorite one, Dream Angus? And like a trooper, she rose to the occasion and we recorded that, which is the final one on the album. Hush in my belly and sleep without fear. Dream Angus has brought you a dream, my dear. So that was a little bit extra and that's added in, so there are the 15 lullabies plus a bookend is, bookends of childhood lullabies because they were so important in our growing up. Sleep through the night Sleep through the night This goes Esther, you are a little star you're a star, that's what you are. Stars must sleep, I've heard them say. So they can twinkle through the day.